Hi everyone, Colin here and welcome back to another aquarium video. So you're watching Fish Keeping Jamaica and Rally has invited me to his channel to talk about the different YouTubers that Rally knows and get a bit more background on who they are and a few questions he's given us to answer to be a bit more in depth about uh, who we are and what we are doing on YouTube. So thank you Rally. Uh, I, of course, live in Australia, down here in the state of Victoria. And down in Victoria, in Australia, I live in the city of Melbourne. And Melbourne, Australia, is, at the moment, the world's most locked down city for the COVID virus. We have really had a very hard time, and the last year and a half has been very, very rough. So having a hobby to take the mind off the seriousness of what's happened to us all has been very helpful. So here I am living in Melbourne in Australia and my aquarium YouTube channel is called Aussie Aquatics. And I've been making these aquarium related videos or nature videos for the last six years. And it was just something to share with people to show the sort of reasons why I enjoy having an aquarium at home, some of the really incredibly beautiful things that I see in my fish tank, whether that be fish or plants, or just the whole way that the plants and fish look in combination. So I do enjoy planted aquariums. Um, that really for me is what I most enjoy. It's having a little uh, habitat where you can sort of imagine that you're looking into a window into a different world and for me aquariums are really really something to look at and just calm and de-stress after working all week and um, the stresses of modern living you can really just sit back at home after work and just chill I started fish keeping when I was 16 years old, uh, by accident really, when my parents bought a small aquarium for their children for Christmas one year, and I sort of got uh, stuck with looking after it and trying to keep the little fish alive and to keep the whole thing working. So from that beginning, I've now had aquariums for the last 40 years, and I've always enjoyed them that entire time. In starting a YouTube channel, I've just really been looking at uh, filming some of the really amazing things that I get to see day to day here in Australia. And there's some really incredibly beautiful things, both outdoors and indoors. And it's been a lot of fun to learn how to use equipment. Um, and of course, now smartphones are so incredible with their cameras that you can just use ordinary phones to do all this amazing filming wherever you go. So it's been really fun for me to learn film making, uh, taking some film of interesting places I might go and see, and then coming home and then with editing software, learning how to actually edit, cut, and do all the amazing things you can do with editing software to turn these little filmed um, memories into interesting stories that people can look at and see a different part of the world that's new or different for them and just share some of the experiences of being in Australia. So learning how to film and edit has been a separate hobby all of its own and for me that's been a real um, thrill to hopefully start off being very very ordinary and uh, not make very good videos and over time hopefully improve everything about making a video to the point where it becomes much more satisfying to watch the videos that I actually put out. So the filmmaking side of the hobby on top of the actual keeping an aquarium side of the hobby um, has been something that keeps me pretty busy and I can see myself in the future just doing more and more filmmaking because there are so many things to record and to film. In the fish keeping hobby, 
um, my greatest ambition would be really coming home one day, looking in my aquarium and seeing little clown loach babies. So I really enjoy clown loach fish in my aquariums. They're just such colorful, good size, and really interesting fish to have in an aquarium. So clown loach is a real favorite of mine. And if I ever came home and I found a little baby clown loaches in my tank by surprise, that to me would be a huge thrill and a great achievement. So in some way that would be my crowning glory being a fish keeper. What excites me the most about keeping fish would be keeping the habitat. So fish keeping, just having fish living in a glass box doesn't really do a whole lot for me. Um, but having the space in the room in a glass box to try and turn that into something of a habitat with plants and with wood and with decoration that you can sit back and see fish moving and swimming in the habitat making that whole little ecological uh, scene where you can just sit back and see fish in a more naturalistic element. So that for me is what interests me and keeps me the most excited with keeping aquariums. A normal day in the life of uh, me, the fish keeper, is uh, pretty basic. I don't do a lot with my aquariums, so I do have them very well filtered and the equipment is of a, a level that I can have very little involvement directly myself. So my tanks will run for weeks and weeks and weeks with very little involvement from me. I'll just uh, feed the fish, have a look, spend five or ten minutes looking, uh, but not really putting my hands in the water. I very rarely put my hands in the water, so my tanks are pretty hands off. And uh, for me, that gives me a lot more enjoyment. If I had to have my hands in the tank all the time, that would just sound like a lot of work. And uh, I don't have an aquarium to be work. So having the equipment do most of the work for me, and then my maintenance, which is, I'd spend probably 15 minutes or so once a week doing a 20% water change. So that would be the, the work I have to do weekly, 15 minutes. And again, I just take the water out, put the water back in with some um, water additives to keep the aquarium chemically stable. Um, and then that's my maintenance, that's my work for the week done. The filters, I use canister filters on my tank. So I would be going two to three months before I would need to turn one of those off, unplug it, disconnect it, take it to the laundry, give it a flush, rinse, put it back together, back to the aquarium. So every three months, that probably would be a 20 minute uh, bit of work to do with maintaining the canister filters. So in between that, day to day, I just watch the tank enjoy it. How I see myself in fish keeping or YouTube? over the next three or five years. Well, I actually think in the next three or five years, I'll be making a lot of videos, and particularly regarding uh, nature, outdoors, uh, conservation, uh, things that we can actively do at home to improve the success of wildlife in local areas, and basic regeneration and improvement of, especially the waterways. Um, most of the cities and towns around the world have all got lakes, rivers and streams nearby. And I think regeneration of the waterways, whereby if you can be involved in seeing those areas um, rehabilitated to the point where wildlife is really encouraged to come back to these water sources, which they naturally are anyway, but having the habitats improved to the point that they become just a lot more healthy, self-sustaining and interesting so that we can visit these places and really be inspired by seeing the wildlife re-establishing in places where 
over the decades and decades, a lot of uh, civilization tends to drive wildlife away. So seeing uh, clever planning and clever uh, engineering to bring waterways back to life and see wildlife return back into urban environments uh, is a really exciting thing. And on that, there's so many topics to film. So I'm looking forward to doing that. And I can see that filmmaking for me, hopefully, this becomes a real exciting hobby that keeps me very involved week to week, looking forward to things to do and to share. Uh, as far as fish keeping that I would try to avoid, um, for me to be having a fish room. So I do see a lot of um, YouTube uh, fish keepers with fish rooms and um, that's a fabulous thing for those who have the time and the money to do it. But for me, it's, I could never be doing that myself. The, the time that it takes to be stuck at home in your basement or in the garage looking after tens and tens and dozens of tanks individually, it is so much work and so much time that you have to dedicate to doing that. It just takes so much other time out of your day and out of your life for other things. So for me, a fish room would be the thing I would absolutely avoid going forward. But having a tank or a couple of tanks, of course, is really interesting, exciting, and no problem at all. So thank you, really. I appreciate being invited to your series about the different fish keepers on YouTube. And I just hope that everyone is doing well in these challenging times. And hopefully we'll see you again on the video before too long.